Hurricane 1 and Hurricane G. Lyricists that have returned to the hall or returned to all about that. These two touch close. And they touch close because one, they cut from the cloth of lyricists. They was lyricists. Right? And two, they are around my age. I think they said, um, or well, it was written that um, Hurricane G passed from cancer, right? Cancer is definitely something that I've experienced in my family, right? It probably scared my family because of my habits, smoking, you know what I mean? Not the best diet. Right. But these two, because they from that cloth and because we in the same wave, so to speak, made me think about the hourglass that we all got. The hourglass that we don't know when it runs out. We only know that the sand is falling through it. We don't know when the last sand is going to be. And in that allotted time, we got to do what we came here to do, right? Them two lyricists did they work. You know what I mean? Team one, listening to Leak Brothers made me, you know I mean, reappreciate hip hop. You know what I mean? And Hurricane G was just my go-to when I wanted to, you know what I mean, feel that type of energy. I'd go straight to her and Red Man. Track together. You know what I mean? Just saying. Rest in peace to them. And in lieu of everything that's been going on with rappers, you know what I mean, dying. I hope that their family is the beneficiaries of all their work. You know what I mean? And there's no label or, you know what I mean, other hidden hand that's going to be holding up the works that these two lyricists put in for their families. That's all I really got to say about that. Rest in peace, Hurricane G and Tame One. All us still living, be aware of the hourglass. Do what you got to do.